All right, now in this lesson, we're going to take a look at a, another triangle problem, but it has a little bit more application. We're talking about two ships. It says they're 34 miles apart. One of the ships traveled south, and it also went 14 miles farther than the other ship. Now, the other ship actually traveled here east, but um, we're starting with ship number one. It traveled a certain distance. It's the other one, so we'll call it X, because the ship that traveled south went 14 miles farther, so it went the same distance as ship 1 plus another 14. So what we just got ready to do is another triangle problem like I did on the last lesson where we're going to use Pythagorean Theorem. We'll call this one A, we'll call this side B, and we'll call this side C. So the whole word problem is just trying to get you to do a similar problem to what we just did on the last example. So we go ahead and write, it's going to be x squared plus x plus 14 squared equals 34 squared. Okay, And so now we actually are, are using the Pythagorean Theorem again, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And now we need to actually square what I wrote. First of all, the x squared just came down. We use the little trick here. Really, it's a, you'd have to write it twice in FOIL, or the trick is you square the first one, so x squared, multiply x and 14 together and double it, so then I get 28x and then one, or 14 squared, which would give me 196. And then that should be equal to 34 squared, which I ran out of room for, is equal to 1,156. Okay, So now we're going to go ahead and want to subtract the 1,156 to the 196 here. And so if I subtract that, I should get negative 960, and then I'm going to bring my 28x, uh, sorry, equals 0 here, because I just subtracted it for the, to the other side, and then I bring my 28x down, and then I have x plus x, so I actually have 2, sorry, x squared plus x squared, which gives me 2x squared. Okay, so now it's ready for me to actually solve, hopefully, by factoring. But, what we want to notice is that there's a 2 in front. And if we can, we want to get rid of that 2. And I know I can because they're all even numbers, which means I can divide everything by 2. And then the 0 gets divided by the 2, and the 2 disappears, so we're still equal to 0. And then we just take our 960 and divide it by 2. And we should get 480, negative 480. And then we take our 28, divide it by 2, and we should get 14 x and then plus x squared. Okay, So now we're ready to try to solve by factoring using the magic x method if we can. So we have x squared, or sorry, x squared on top. Uh, we have negative 480 on top and then we have 14 on the bottom. And then we try to see if we have any factors of 40, 480 that add to be positive 14. And it just so happens that it does factor. We've got um, 30 and 16. 30 times 16 gives you 480, and if you subtract, you get 14. Well, we need one of them to be negative. We need the 16 to be negative. So that way, when we subtract, we actually get the positive 14. When we multiply, we actually get the negative 480. And I got that by playing with 480, seeing what multiplied to be 480, until I finally came up with something that did work. Um, so play with that a little, or play with your homework problem a little while until you finally get it. Otherwise, if you can't factor it, quadratic formula will still work. Now we take our x squared, reduce that by 2, or a power of 2, in other words, just divide by an x, and we're left with x plus 30 times x minus 16 equals 0. So now we just have to solve that by setting each one equal to 0. So I have x plus 30 equals 0 and then x minus 16 equals 0. So I solve and I have x equals 30 and then, sorry, negative 30 and x equals positive 16. Now, it doesn't make sense for us to have a negative distance of 30 so our answer is most likely 16 but we want to check that out to see if it actually makes sense. So here we've got 16 plus 14 and then over here we have 16 and then that should complete uh, uh, 
the Pythagorean theorem to make 34. So we should actually try these numbers and see if they work. And so basically what we're looking at is we have 30 is our B. We have 16 is our A. If we square those, that should be equal to the square of 34. And it is, in fact, 1,156. And that equaled the square of 34, which was 1,156.